In this video, we're going to look at index numbers. So what we're going to do is look at this example. It says the table shows the population of Hamilton in 1960 and in 1980. And we have the population in 1960 as 6,400 and the population in 1980 as 7,040. Now it says take in 1960 as the base year, work out the population of Hamilton in 1980 as an index number. So the first thing we need to do is know the formula for an index number. So that's going to be that the index number is going to be the current price over the base year price over the base year price multiplied by 100. So in our case, 7,040 divided by 6,400 multiplied by 100. And that, I can get my calculator here, type it in, 7,040 over 6,400 times that by 100 and that will give me 110. So the index number would simply be 110. And then it says, Thorpe is a town near Hamilton. The population decreased by 2% between 1970 and 1990. Taking 1970 as the base here this time, complete the table below. So we would say that the original would be 100. So we could write 100 here. And it's decreased by 2%. So 100 take away 2 is 98. Okay, let's try the next question. If you want to try this question, you can pause the video. And when you're done, I will go through my work solution. So we've got Zenith Engineering Company makes a stainless steel. The raw materials for making stainless steel are steel, chromium and nickel. And stainless steel is made with 74% steel, 18% chromium and 8% nickel. Now it says taking 2000 as the base here, calculate the index numbers for the price of chromium and nickel in 2003. So we can say that the formula for the index number, don't forget that the index number is going to be the current price divided by the base year price. So the base year price times that by 100. Then say so now what we can do now for the chromium, we can say that the chromium, that will be the current price for the chromium in 2003 is going to be 43,575 divided by the base year price, which is 41,500 times that by 100. And that on my calculator would give me the following here. So I get 43575 over 41500 times that by 100, and that will give me 105. Then I'm going to do the same for nickel. So that's going to be, the current price of that is 8,240 over 8,000 times that by 100. And on my calculator, that will give me a value of 103. So we can verify that. So that'll give me 8240 over 8,000 times that by 100 here. And that would give me 103, like so. And they would be my answers. I would write here 105 and 103, respectively. Then it says that the index number for this in, for steel in 2003 was 102. 
Zenith Engineering wants to find out the weighted index number for the price of the raw materials for stainless steel. Calculate this number. So we know that the index number is 102 uh, in 2003. Now we've got the following here. So we know what chromium is, that's 105. We know what nickel is, it's 103. So what we do, we do something called the weighted index number. So because we've got our percentages here, so they've told us in the beginning of the question that 74% is steel, 18% is chromium, and 8% is nickel. So I'm going to use that as the following. So I'm going to say it's going to be 74% times by the index number of steel, which is 102, plus 18 over 100 times by the index number of chromium, which is 105, plus 8 over 100 times 103 and then on my calculator that's going to give me 102.62 and then it says part c write down the percentage by which the price of raw materials for stainless steel went up between 2000 and 2003 so i now know what this weighted index number is so it's 102.62 in 2003 so it's going to be the following it's going to be 102.62 minus what it was originally which is 100 over the original times by a hundred percent so think of this as a percentage change in gcc maths where you do difference over the original times by a hundred percent so if you work that on your calculator, you're going to get 2.62%.